everybody. Welcome to the month of June. So we were telling you about this Bites and Pints Food Festival that just started on Friday. And today we're gonna be trying everything at the Chinese food booth and the French food booth. And you'll see all those items in a little bit. But we just wanted to say hey. Welcome to June. Happy Pride Month. Happy Pride Month, and let's check out this food. So here's the food for the Chinese booth. We have pork bao buns over here. We have hot stickers with some kind of sauce here, maybe a soy sauce or something. And then these are scallion pancakes. And we're not gonna try anything right now. We're gonna take it home and then we'll let you know what we think. They also, you'll see from the menu card, they also have two different kinds of beer. But Heather and I don't like beer and we don't really drink alcohol. So we are not getting this. So this is the Chinese food at the Bites and Pints Food Festival at Kennywood. Every weekend in June, you should check it out. Okay, so here's the food from the French booth. I didn't get any of the drinks. They have an alcohol slushy, um, beer and two, yeah, two different kinds of wine. So what we have here is sweet crepes right there. Or Nutella, hazelnuts, which I did not get the nuts, and chocolate sauce. So they're just little Nutella crepes. Then this is cassoulet, which is beans, tomatoes, duck confit, sausage, with herb breadcrumbs. So that actually does not sound good to me, but we'll see when I try it. Then they have this is a croque monsieur, which I've heard of before. I think it's basically just a ham and cheese sandwich, like grilled cheese. So it says ham and Swiss grilled cheese topped with bechamel cheese sauce. And then they had a little Nutella stuffed pretzel twist. And this was cold, so they must be keeping it in a fridge. So this is the food from the French food booth. And you will see us try it at home in a little bit. Open. 
So as we were telling you guys, the first food booth that we decided to try was from China. It's Chinese food. So we just thought it would be cute to show the flag. So here you go. And now we're gonna try these awesome Chinese food dishes. Okay, so the first one that we have is the crispy pot stickers, pork and leek dumplings, Chinese vinegar, green onions. Oh, so this sauce is Chinese vinegar? Mm -hmm. Okay, and you tried it and it's pretty good? It is pretty good. It's like soy sauce, ginger, probably garlic. It's pretty good. So in carrying this from the <laughs> food booth to the car, I spilled most of it on my shorts, but there's a little bit left. So that's the pot stickers. Okay, what's next? Pork bayo buns. Steamed rice buns. Sliced pork belly. Poison glaze, pickled cucumbers. Oh, it is a cucumber. Okay. Okay, and then... Scallion pancakes, sweet soy glaze, orange chili glaze. This one had like a lot of glaze on it. Okay. There was like a lot of sauce on it. Okay. So I think I mentioned before, but as I was telling you guys, we decided to, because this food festival thing is on the weekends, we are going to get the food, you know, show it to you, and then we're going to bring it home and try it. Because one, it's really hot, and two, it's really busy. It's so noisy. Like, you guys probably wouldn't even be able to hear us. Exactly. It's so loud that we're going to, this is how we're going to do it. Yeah. We're going to bring it home and try it. So here's the pot sticker. Heather wants to be off camera today, so she's just going to tell us what she thinks. Tastes just like a pot sticker you get from any place. Oh, really? Mm hmm. It's good. So, this is also pork? Yeah. If you know me, I'm a picky eater, and <laughs> there's a lot of meats I don't like, and pork is one of them. It's good, though. I mean, it tastes like a normal pot sticker you would get from any Chinese place. And the um, the sauce, I've definitely have had that sauce at different places that I've gone to too. So it's nothing, nothing different, but still very good though. They're stuffed really good too. Yeah, this is what the inside looks like. Mm -hmm. They stuffed them really well. Hopefully you could see that good, I don't know. <laughs> It is pretty good. If you want that one, you can have it. I'm gonna show you guys the, there was like a big menu card that had prices because you can buy these things individually, but we obviously decided that we wanna try everything at all the booths. And we ended up getting two bite cards. So we get 30 items because we're pass holders. So they have I forget what it is. I think it's an eight count and a yeah. 12 count, but because we're pass holders, we get 15 for the price of the 12. So we're going to do 30. We're going to try absolutely everything. We just might skip a couple of the drinks, Yeah. which I told you um, the Chinese booth only had like two different beers and we don't like beer and we also don't really like alcohol. So we decided to just skip on those today. So these are pretty good. I just wouldn't order them. I like crab rangoons. If I'm gonna get something like that at a Chinese food like place, an appetizer. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I guess I may would maybe would give it like six out of ten. Yeah, I think that's eight. reasonable. Okay, we're good. Eight. So I think this is the pork bao bun. Yeah, I think it is bao. But I was expecting it to look like those like cheeseburger pods that Molly from All Ears talks about. Like I thought it would be enclosed. Yeah, we thought it would be more enclosed. So this is kind of interesting though. It's like a taco. Yeah, it's kind of like a little taco. This is like a soft, squishy, what do they call it? Like a rice dough. Yeah. I mean, they look and smell great. I just don't like pork and all I can see is how much fat is on it. 
I'm actually going to pick the, the fat piece off of my meat. Okay. If you want me to do that to yours or... I don't know how much of this I'll actually eat. Yeah. But it has um, like slivers of cucumber in it. Was it pickled cucumber? Yeah, pickled cucumber. And that is <clears throat> onions on it, right? Scallions, but yeah. But that's an onion? Yeah. And hoisin sauce. I really like hoisin sauce. Oh. The cucumber's good. The bun itself is pretty good. Each piece of meat had a layer of fat. Of fat, so we pulled off all of our fat ends off of the meat. When I know people who eat like that, they like to have that fat on there. Here's what some of the pork looks like. Yeah, you can see the fat. I think that's my problem with pork. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we don't really eat a lot of pork or really none at all. Yeah. I think presentation was really good. Yeah, I mean, it they're was pretty. interesting. They look nice. It is very tasty. So would you recommend the pot stickers for people to try? This one. The pot stickers? Oh yeah, definitely. Would you recommend this one? Mm-hmm. Okay. It's I mean for me it's something I'm glad I had it once. Yeah. It's something different. Yeah. So if you're in Pittsburgh or you're thinking about going to this Bites and Pints Festival on the weekend, we say do it. You yeah, know, you so get far. To, yeah, it's, it's good. You get to try food from around the world. And I am not an adventurous eater, so I know that this makes Heather happy that I'm going to try some stuff. <laughs> I never said I was going to like it. Yeah. But I will try it. The bun, I think you'll like the bun. It's kind of sweet. It has a sweet taste to it. So here's just like, I ripped half of it off just to like try. And it's good. Mm -hmm. The meat is very tender. Very tender. I wanted to try it like yeah. all together. Well, it's funny, when I eat it with the bun, all I taste is the bun. And I did take a bite of the pork. I kind of like them separately. Like and I know I'm weird. It. Yeah. Because I tried that cucumber first and I really like it. The sauce the is not bad. The cucumber is really good. Yeah, the hoisin sauce, it's like a sweet sauce. I would say that I like the cucumber the most, then the bun, and then the pork. Because <laughs> I just, like it's fine, I just don't like pork. Yeah. Would you agree that the pork is um, very soft, though? Mm-hmm. And I would almost even recommend the bao bun over the pot stickers. I would, too. For something different? Yeah. Definitely. Try these. Yeah. I mean, try all of it. But if you're picking one from each booth, maybe I would pick the bao buns. Yeah. We haven't tried the... I mean, we'll see how the other one goes. ...pancakes yet, but yeah. When I, like, at a first glance, I actually figured I might like that one the most. The, the scallion, scallion pancakes. pancakes. <clears throat> but I do know <clears throat> scallion is a kind of onion. Yeah. And I really don't like onions. <laughs> Heather does. But just, like, presentation-wise, like, yeah. just looking at them. But I guess we'll see. They look very greasy. They do, and they had a lot of sauce. And I have to say by the smell, they don't smell very good. Mm. 
my opinion, I wouldn't waste money on this one. I wouldn't waste money on this one. Yeah. Or a bite card punch. So, it kind of just looks doughy inside. With scallions. Yeah. It's so... There's so much glaze on it that that's yeah, kind of all it tastes. Yeah, it's very greasy. It just tastes like dough and glaze. So I think I'm going to stick to try the bao buns if you're only going to try one. Definitely. Definitely the bao buns. Any other thoughts? One booth down, Chinese. <laughs> one booth down. We tried. These are all the food items at the Chinese booth. Except for we didn't get the beer. Yeah, I believe there was two kinds of beer. You'll see it in the picture. I'm going to insert the picture of the menu card. But other than the beer, these are the three food items at the Chinese booth, and they're good, but we mostly liked the pork bao bun. Bonjour, friends. We want to say hello, and we are going to show you and try and talk about the French menu items from the Bites and Pines Festival at Kennywood. So this is the French flag, which I have known what this flag is my whole life. I know what it looks like. But anyway, here we go. Okay, so I already showed all these, uh, I already showed the food, but this is the cassoulet, which I already read you the ingredients to. Um, I'm not excited about this. I guess I never read it until just now. I I don't like beans. I don't think I'm gonna like it. I don't know. I think that's like breadcrumbs. Yeah, it's just breadcrumbs. On crumbs. the top. But there's like big chunks. Oh. Is that sausage? Oh, oh wait, I said duck something. Yeah. Is it, it like duck, duck meat? Yeah. Oh god. I'm scared. <laughs> I actually thought I was gonna be really excited about the French booth and now I'm not sure. Well that's either a pepper or a carrot. Oh no, it's a tomato. Tomato. The breadcrumbs kind of like tickle your throat. Oh, do they? Yeah. Does it smell good? I mean, yes. <clears throat> but I totally judge food by how it looks. <laughs> and this does not oh, look good. Oh, there's a little bit of meat. There you go. Just try that. I mean, nothing tastes bad. I just like feel like I don't know what I'm eating. Even though I already read the ingredients and I said what it was. Well, the meat looks very tender. Here, you try. Okay. The outside of that is a little rubbery for my liking. The little piece of meat was okay. I'm wondering if they did some type of duck sausage. Because that definitely has like a smoked sausage. Taste? Taste to it. Which you like and I don't. I, what, I think, what did I say? Like duck confit? I don't know what that is. So if you do, awesome. Maybe I'll look it up and see if I can explain that better. And you like beans too, right? Kinda, I think they're brown beans. I like um, black beans. Yeah, Heather likes black with beans. With tacos. With tacos. I don't like beans. I mean, it's not spicy. There's nothing that tastes bad. It's actually pretty good. Even to me, I just, 
the color in the beans really throw it off for me and having like huge chunks of sausage. But I know that a lot of people are into this kind of stuff. But this is meat and not sausage. So I'm wondering if there is like sausage and duck in it. Yeah. I can't remember from what I read. You like it? It was hot. It's not bad. Like it the was meat really is hot. very tender. Temperature hot. I mean, would I get this again? Mm. Maybe. I don't think it's gonna go on my top favorite to try again, but I wouldn't turn it down. Like I said, nothing tastes bad to me. Yeah, it's very like, well seasoned. It's very good. Which is surprising because, again, I'm really picky. <laughs> and Heather's making a mess eating it. I'm just laughing. I would say give this a try. Okay, we say give it a try. That's really Even good. Even if you're skeptical like me. The beans don't taste like those kidney beans. So the beans are, like, good. The meat yeah. is very tender. I mean, it's really not bad. I just, I couldn't eat the whole thing. I know Heather doesn't mind. Um, I feel bad because I feel like I just ate a relative. If you haven't heard before, uh, Heather's nickname is Duck. <laughs> and she just ate some duck meat. <laughs> Whatever Ducky had to die for that, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, fellow duck. All right, so what are we trying next? Okay, so I've actually been really excited to try this for a very long time. And like I said, it's basically just a grilled ham and cheese, which I make my own, I like them, and it just has a cheese sauce that I've never had. Have you had bechamel mm -mm. cheese sauce? Nope. And then I'm assuming, are those like little chives? Yeah. I hate when they like garnish shit with green well, stuff. Well, why don't I take the top and you take the bottom? This also was warm. Oh yeah, it's okay. So I am not a ham person, but I will give this a whirl. It also had like a lot of extra cheese on it, like that sauce, a lot more than I was able to like put in my little container. There is a lot of ham on this. Yeah. They really stuffed it. It's actually really good. It, yeah, it's not bad. Mm -mm. Again, I, I brought this stuff home from Kennywood, so it's not warm anymore, but it's still pretty good. The ham's not like cheap ham. It's like really good ham. And the bread looks like it would have been good, like warm and fresh. Mm -hmm. It's good. Yeah, I was excited about this one. I mean, definitely between these first two, like I like this better. This is more my style. A grilled ham and cheese. I say to definitely get this. So it was obviously really hot and this chocolate sauce has just kind of turned into like a chocolate water <laughs> and it kind of just saturated the crepe. So it looked different before but you saw it when I was still at the park. Heather just gave us a fresh Dollop. topping of dollop of <laughs> whipped cream. So now we're gonna try this, which I already know this is gonna be my favorite because it's a Nutella crepe. Can't really go wrong with that. Mm -mm. I get them all the time. I like to eat them for like brunch with fruit. We like to go to Tea Swirl. Yes. If you live in the Pittsburgh area and if you ever go to Squirrel Hill, you need to go to Tea Swirl Crepe. Yes. It's a Japanese crepe place. They are only doing like takeout. You can like go in and order, but they are not offering seating at all. So you can just walk in, order, and then once you have your food, take it home or eat outside or, you know, whatever. Oh, it like got cold. It's delicious though. When we do our favorites, we're going to get this and eat it fresh. So this is obviously like super thin, but it does have a few layers. I don't know how much you can tell, but the Nutella is in there. I would say like three layers. Yeah. So like two layers of Nutella. 
<clears throat> again it's not warm anymore but it's good it is really good i have like chocolate soup kind of in here i wish they would have given us a little bit more but uh, that's pretty good okay so i also already showed this but it said it was a nutella stuffed pretzel twist so it's basically just like a singular chocolate covered pretzel but because they have filling in it i guess they uncovered it in chocolate and then it has little chocolate chips heather's gonna do surgery on this pretzel surgery surgery is that from something yes so the generic opera oh right i did not like that movie oh i love it I know, I remember we bought it because you love it. Mm -hmm. So the Nutella is like oozing out the bottom. And it just looks like this. I mean, hello, deliciousness. And it has a ton of little chips on the top. It's funny because the way she cut it, this half has like almost <coughs> all of the little chips. Yeah, I try to make it like a nice... Oh shit, it's okay. I mean, I love Nutella, which I already just said. I have to say, I thought the crepes would be my favorite. This is just like a little treat, but this might be my favorite. This is really good. Because also, I love pretzels. That's all for you. We, need, we might need to get married about one. Definitely get that. Okay, so let's rank them like one through four. Okay. Number four for me is that like bean or stew three. or whatever okay. that is. Number three, of course, I'm going to say the Nutella crepes. Yes. Second, Agree. the croque monsieur. Agree. Ham and cheese. And number one, oh wait. Oh, I totally did that wrong. But where is the stew? Three is the sandwich. Two is the crepes. And number one is the Nutella stuffed pretzel. That was delicious. Would you flip the middle two or no? Mm -hmm. I would leave it just a that No, you would agree because mm -hmm. you don't love ham. But honestly, same with the Chinese. We're saying try everything. Yeah. If you're going to try one thing and you're adventurous, try the bean stew. Yeah, I would say if you're adventurous and you like stuff like that, it is. I just finished it. It actually is pretty good. Yeah, if you like sausage, if you like beans, if you like tomato, try it. If you're only going to get one thing, I did hear a lot of people like only getting the crepes. But honestly, get the pretzel. Yeah. Get the pretzel and get the sandwich. Like, get... The, that's a treat. I would still get a food item. And go to Tea Swirl to get a crepe. Yeah, go to Tea Swirl <clears throat> in Squirrel Hill in Pittsburgh. Yes. And get a fruit crepe or a, what is it, savory crepe, whatever you want, but they're so good. With extra custard. <laughs> the yeah. sweet ones have custard, yeah. yeah. Good. So actually, that's a wrap on part one. So this video was the Chinese and the French food booths. In my opinion, I don't know about your, yours. We've done two. I would rank the booths French and then Chinese. I agree. <clears throat> we like, and it's not that anything's not prepared good or not um, cooked well. It's just preference wise. Yeah, I, I like the French booth better. <clears throat> so we definitely recommend trying whatever you want to try. Try all of it from these food booths. It's only going to be for three more weekends. So this is part one. We hope you liked the video. Please subscribe. It's free. And give this video a thumbs up. Again, free. 
and we hope you enjoy our Kennywood series and you enjoy this little mini series. Have a great day, have a great week, and we'll see you again very soon. Bye everyone. Bye. 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 Bye.